In 2020, I, the year 2020, I said in 2021 that uh, air travel and rockets or missiles or anything like that would be in focus. And since then, people have put up private uh, spaceships into space. Uh, the airlines have been pretty much in a lot of trouble. They've canceled flights. Uh, uh, American Airlines at one point had a video on the internet that they laid off 8,099 crews. And uh, over this Christmas weekend, uh, they canceled all these different flights. And uh, the airline, airline industry is in a lot of trouble, and, and so is the... Um, hospitality industry, which is hotels, resorts, uh, cruises, things like that because uh, of COVID-19. And uh, it's still out there and it, it's affected everything from hospitals and visitors to uh, travel to resort areas to restaurants. And now even football games are being canceled and it, it's really affected everything and like I said in 2022 which is uh, of course upon us uh, I said it's uh, the period of the eight-pointed star of Venus or the star of the Magi and that means for the United States one who has met and overcome the trials and tribulations of their life and career is what it usually is but we're talking about the USA and it means that we still have more to go. And then I said that uh, by October of 2022 through 2023, we hit the period I call the dark side of the moon. And it's a period that sometimes there's a lot of conflicts and it's a Mars period. There's a lot of confusion. A lot of wars or disharmony have started in periods like that. Uh, but I don't even like to think about things like that. The uh, COVID situation uh, it has done enough damage to the world. And in 1918, it was the Spanish flu and it wiped out 25% of the world. And uh, that was a time that a lot of people's dentist was their barber. It was an archaic period. It was a period where, where we, we didn't have the technology we have today. And We've probably done better with COVID than other countries, and I, I don't think they really reported the extent of the problems they had the way we report it. So I, I hope that times get better and the holidays are good for everyone.